वेलकम टू फ्लॉलेस मैथमेटिक्स नाउ आई विल स्टार्ट अ न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज रिलेशन विद अ लॉट ऑफ इंटरेस्टिंग टूडेज आवर एजेंडा इज रिकेपिचुलेशन नंबर वन एंड अनदर वन इज डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ रिलेशन लेट स्टार्ट सो इन क्लास इलेवन वी हैव इंट्रोड्यूस द नोटेशन ऑफ अ रिलेशन ओके द नोटेशन ऑफ अ रिलेशन इट्स डोमेन इट्स को डोमेन एंड इट्स रेंज ओके लेट एस रिकॉल दैट अ रिलेशन फ्रॉम अ सेट A to B, set A to set B is a subset of A cross B. Now, what is A cross B? Okay. Now, our question is, what is A cross B? Let's take an example, and then we have to determine their domain. domain of that set okay range co domain okay co domain let's start first of all we have a example let's assume that a is a set that is a uh, 1 2 3 and b is a set which is made A, B, and C. Okay. Now, what is A cross B? A cross B, that is Cartesian product of set. What is it? Cartesian C A R T E S I A N. Cartesian product of sets. Okay. Cartesian product of set. Now, for this example, what is A cross B? A cross B equals to one comma A, then one comma B, then one comma C, two comma A, two comma B, two comma C, and three comma A, three comma B, three comma C. Okay, that is the A cross B. Okay. so cartesian set product of set if we take another example then uh, i have to clear this very clearly now a equals to 1 and 5 and b equals to 3 and 4 now it's your time to determine a cross b what is it 1 comma 3 and 1 comma 4 and 5 comma 3 And five comma four. Okay. I hope now you are getting. Okay. So let's start uh, the definition of a relation. So before that, I have to clear the board. Definition of a relation. Okay. Definition. Let us assume. Let A and B. Let A and B be two sets. Okay, B to six. Then a relation. Then a relation, which is defined by R, capital R. Okay, is a relation. Is a relation or defined relation, which is R. Okay, is from A to B. A to B. Okay, so that is uh, the which is a subset of. A relation R is from A to B is a subset from subset of A cross B. Okay, so A and B, we assume that A and B be two sets. Then a relation that is which is defined by capital R is from A to B is from set A to B is a subset of A cross B. If we write this mathematical form. so then we can write that r is subset that is notation of subset a cross b okay now we will know what is range what is domain what is co domain okay so domain 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 if we uh, take r is a relation let r b r relation R B R relation from a set 
a to b then the set the set of all of all first components first components or coordinates or coordinates of the ordered pair of the ordered pair pairs uh, belonging to r is called domain is called domain let me clarify now let me clarify this one so what is domain let r be a relation from a set a to b up to this i hope you all are getting this so then the set of all first components or coordinates of the ordered pair belonging to r is called domain here the keyword is first okay first components and the ordered pair okay that is the main uh, term here that is first component of the ordered pair okay let me take a example so uh, okay A equals to one, three, five. Okay, and B equals to two and three, two and three. Now, what is A cross B? Here, one comma two, one comma three, and three comma two, three comma three. Five comma three and five comma two. Okay, that is the A cross B here. Now, what is R? R is a subset of A cross B. Let take R equals to. Uh, we remove this pair, and we remove uh, say this pair. Okay, and we called it R, which is a subset of A cross B. So one comma two, three comma two, five comma two, and the last one is five comma three. That is the R. We take it. Okay, we take it as R. Now what is domain here? There are four ordered pair. One, two, three, and four. There are four ordered pair. Now the first component of the ordered pair. What is the first component? This ordered pair one and two. Now here the first component is in, is one, and the second component is two. And here the first component is three, and the second component or coordinate is two. Okay. And here also uh, five is first component, and two is second component. And here five is uh, first component, three is second component. Now what is domain of the set? The first component of the ordered pair. So if we define the domain as D and um, we made it the set, so here one, three, and five. There five is two times, but we uh, here we write just one times. Okay, only one times. Now what is the domain? One, three, five. That is the domain of the R. Domain of the R. I hope now you are getting my point. Okay. Now, what is range? So, what is range here? Range. Range. Here, the range in the range, the keyword is second. Okay, second. I hope you will guess it. That what is range? Right. So, what is range? The second component. So two, 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 and three. Now here two is three times, but we write here only one times. So R uh, uh, range. So R A N G E range is set. It's a set which is made by the components two and three. Okay, two and three. So that is the definition of range and domain. Now, what is codomain? What is codomain? Okay, let me uh, clear the board. But before that, 
uh, I should teach you a short note that is very important for your exam. So that is if if R A relation R is a relation from a non void set. What is void set and what is non void set? Uh, after few times, I will talk you. So from A non void set. A to a non void set B. Okay, so if is a relation from uh, if R is a relation from a non void set A to a non void set B, then and uh, okay, assume there are there are M and N elements respectively respectively that means uh, in uh, set A there are M elements and in uh, set B there are N elements okay respectively then A cross B then A cross B has M and order pairs M in ordered pairs. Okay. M in ordered pairs. So that is a most important short note or short questions rather. And uh, another is the total number. Total number of the relation from A to B from a to b is 2 to the power m n 2 to the power m n okay very important short question okay very important short question so for uh, a cross b has m n order pair and the total number of relation from a to b is 2 to the power m n okay let's take an example if a is 3 element 1 2 3 and b is 2 element um, b has 2 elements sorry b has 2 elements that is uh, a comma b so number of relation is 2 to the power m into n so what is m here m equals to 3 and n equals to 2 so m into uh, n that means 3 into 2 that means 2 to the power 6 that means 32 sorry 64 okay 64 the number of relation is 64 and the number of order pair is 6 number of order pair is 6 okay let's uh, move to the another topic that is different types of relation different types of relation okay of relation okay so void set void sorry void relation void relation void relation what is it void relation okay hmm. void relation let a b r set a b r set then phi is a subset of a cross a phi that is null set okay null set is defined by phi i hope you all are new it so phi is a subset of a cross a and uh, so it is a relation it is a relation on a as we know a few before few minutes that relation is a subset of a cross a or if a and b are two sets then r is a subset of a cross b so phi is a subset of a cross a so it is a relation on a right it is a relation of a and this relation is called as void relation okay so a let a be a set and then phi is a subset of phi that means null set is a subset of a cross a 
and so it is a relation on A and this type of relation are we called as void relation. Okay. Now the second one is universal relation. Universal relation. Universal relation. So universal relation. Okay. Dot dot dot. Universal relation. Uh, same thing that uh, let A be a set. We assume same thing. Okay. Uh, let A be a set. Then what is the universal set? A cross A is also a subset of A cross A. Mind it. A cross A is also a subset of A cross A. Okay. So that type of relation is called as universal relation. Now what is the difference between void relation and universal relation? That they are phi. That means null set is a relation um, subset of A cross A. And here A cross A is a subset of A, A cross A. And that is called universal relation and that is called void relation. And the third one is identity relation. So what is identity relation? Identity relation. Okay. Now what is identity relation? What is this, uh, its definition? So let A be a set. Let A be a set. Then the identity relation that is denoted by I A where A is uh, a set. Okay. So I A equals to A comma A. What is that A? What is the small A? Now here A is an element of capital A set. Okay. So let A be a set. Then identity relation that is uh, denoted by I A is A comma A. Uh, where A is a element of capital A set. Okay. So uh, then and then on A is called on A is called identity relation on A. Okay. Uh, identity relation. Identity. Then I A equals to A is called identity relation on A. On A. On A. Okay. Let's do an example. Uh, let's say uh, A is a set uh, 1, 2 and 3. Now what is IA? That means identity relation that is 1 comma 1, 2 comma 2 and 3 comma 3. Okay. 3 comma 3. So here 1, 2, 3 that is element of capital A set and uh, identity relation IA equals to A comma A. So 1 comma 1, 2 comma 2 and 3 comma 3. Okay. So that's all for today. And uh, next day I will discuss the four relation that is reflexive relation, transitive relation, reflexive, transitive, transitive and symmetric and antisymmetric. Right? Symmetric and antisymmetric. Antisymmetric. Uh, those four relation I will discuss next day and I have to illustrate those four type of relation and uh, also define. Okay? So that's all for today. Uh, let's practice and uh, it's your time to take a better preparation on this chapter. Okay. Ta -ta.